Hey guys, so you may notice that this week I am entirely in my pajamas. Little known fact, I do in fact film mainly in pajamas from the waist down, but you didn't know that before. Now you do, not a secret anymore. The reason that I am in pajamas today is because I have decided that today I am no longer going to adult. You may know if you've been watching my videos that I am very, very bad at being an adult for someone who is in fact an adult. So today I've decided I'm not gonna do it anymore just for at least, you know, 12 hours. Because I've spent the last week or so doing so many adult things, paying bills, setting up direct deposits, dropping my car off for appointments, doing lots of other things that I just really don't want to do because I am a six-year-old inside of my brain and heart. So this week on Andyland, we're gonna learn how to perfectly avoid adulthood for those time periods where you just need to be a child. Now, when your case of adulthood is very serious and it's just like pounding on your door trying to get in, trying to get at you, what you need is an anti-adulthood fortress and that is exactly what we're going to do. Fortunately, I'm something of an expert on anti-adulthood fortresses. You may know them by their more common name of blanket forts, but let's call it an anti-adulthood fortress because it sounds more epic, doesn't it? Good thing I have all these supplies here ready and a faithful helper kitten. Jasmine is going to be helping by not knocking over the fort. Isn't that right? Now, your first step when creating your anti-adulthood fortress is that you need to find a good, clear space in whatever space you're making it in that can house your fort. Fortunately, I have this very convenient alley-like space between my couch and my bed, which even contains this little trunk, which is very useful as a shelf for storage inside of your fortress. The most basic first thing that you need to do is start on the roof. Now what I recommend for this is that you use your largest blanket available to start on the roof. Here we have a very large black comforter. <laughs> Sometimes you might make small mistakes, like possibly turning this blanket the wrong way. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna turn out splendidly. You've got this, honey boo boo. You know, the best thing to do when you're building a fort is not start from the back when all the stuff that you got to anchor it is over there right by the camera. <laughs> Don't worry if you have to crawl around a bit, you're gonna be fine. Luckily, I have eight very large yearbooks from four years of high school and then four years of university. Why'd I keep buying them? I don't know, they just kept happening. Now, finally we have a use for these eight ton stacks of bricks. Oh no, if the roof sags a little bit, don't worry. It's laws of physics or something, it's gonna sag. Okay, so now you have very basic roof. It's a little low, um, but that's gonna be all right because you're gonna be sitting down the whole time, so it doesn't matter. The next step that we have is to add walls. Now, luckily, because we have two things on either side, we already have a preformed wall on this side and this side, and all we need is to uh, lengthen the back, which is already pretty long back there, but I'm gonna lower it a little more, and then we need to put up a front. So, you just get more blankets. It's really that simple. Be careful about weight distribution. Now, you remember what I said about the roof sagging. If this top blanket gets too heavy, it's gonna sag even more, and that's when it's gonna be a problem. So you gotta be careful to stretch it out as far as you can so it doesn't put too much weight on the roof. Now, what you wanna do is set up the inside of your fort. I don't really know how I'm gonna film this. I didn't think this far through. Okay, so now you have a basic fort. Now what's gonna set your fort apart from the rest is the interior design of your fort. Hi, Jasmine. So if you don't have bomb ass carpet like I do and you're on maybe a wooden floor or a tile, then I recommend getting some blankets or pillows and laying them down. This carpet is actually relatively new and very soft, so I might just leave it, but I do recommend getting blankets even so because it just adds to something to the fort, you know, to have blankets inside of it. Extra protection, if you will. Now, arguably one of the most important parts of fort building are pillows. We need pillows. Fortunately, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of pillows. Let's get some. You've got blankets, you've got pillows. What's next needed in a fort for avoiding responsibility in adulthood? Well, how long are you gonna be avoiding adulthood? I'm guessing a long time if it's come to the point of you making a fort in your bedroom like a child. So you're gonna need some snacks just stocked up in case you need to hide out in here for a long time. Okay, now that you've got your snacks, you're gonna need some drinks, something like water, maybe juice or sodas, or maybe another drink if you so feel like it. 
hey, this is all right. I may be internally a child, but legally I'm 22 years old and I can have this if I want to. This does not in any way condone underage drinking. Only drink if you are over the age of 21 in America or 18 in other countries and only drink responsibly. So now that you've got your drinks and your snacks, what are you gonna do next? Well, you can't just sit in the fort. I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be kind of boring. No, what I recommend is bringing in some books or maybe some electronics because, let's face it, we're people of the 21st century and we need electronics to keep our brains from going crazy from thinking so much. Movies are also a great idea, but remember, we're avoiding adulthood, so I highly recommend only animated movies or movies with a theme of magic or childhood. And now you're pretty much set. All that's left to do is maybe add a few other things, like a fan if it's incredibly hot inside of your fort, like mine kind of is because the window's wide open, there's a light right there, but if it's not, you don't need one. Basically, make your fort your own. It's highly important that you do this because if you just copy someone else's design, it's not going to be as much fun, is it? So this is how I'm going to avoid adulthood for the rest of the day. You guys can tell me how you like to avoid adulthood or tell me about your greatest fort designs down in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on this trip in Andyland, guys. You can click here to be sent to my last video, or you can click right down below me to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and share it with your friends, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys!